morning, everyone. My name is Fallon McClure. I am the Deputy Director for Policy and Advocacy at the ACLU of Georgia. Today, we are here to talk about Senate Bill 473. I would like to introduce our Executive Director, Andrea Young. Good morning. Um, we're here to say that Georgia families deserve better. We deserve to have our face prints, voice prints, and fingerprints protected, not sold to the highest bidder. SB 473 is a Trojan horse that fails to protect Georgia families and fails to protect ethical companies from unfair competition. We can do better. Good morning. My name is Christopher Bruce. I'm the Policy and Advocacy Director for the ACLU of Georgia. Let me start off my remarks by quoting a former president. George W. Bush. There's an old saying in Tennessee, I know it's in Texas, but probably in Tennessee too, that says, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me, you can't get fooled again. And that's what your elected officials are trying to do today. They are trying to fool you by calling on Senate Bill 473, a Georgia Consumer Protection Privacy Act, when it does not protect you but it does protect the big tech companies such as Google, Amazon, Facebook, and Meta. Today, we stand at a critical juncture in our fight for privacy rights in Georgia. The ACLU of Georgia has taken a firm stance against Senate Bill 473, a bill that, while may be well-intentioned, falls significantly short of providing the robust privacy protections from our daily interactions online to our most private data it is being collected and processed at an unprecedented scale, often without our explicit consent. This has opened the door to invasive surveillance, malicious targeting, and advertising that alarmingly discriminatory against communities of color, um, especially in the Atlanta region. The ACLU of Georgia advocates for a legislative approach that places the responsibility of privacy protection squarely on the companies that are profiting from your data. However, Senate Bill 473 in its current form fails to uh, meet this criteria. It relies on an opt-out cons consent model, lacks private right for action, and does not address critical civil rights protections, leaving significant gaps in safeguarding your privacy. Let me be clear, Georgians deserve a real Consumer Privacy Protection Act that prioritizes the people and not big tech companies. Remember, when the government gives away your rights, it's very hard to take them back. Your legislature is selling your rights to big tech companies. It's time for you to stop it now before it becomes too late. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Ben Line. I'm policy counsel with the ACLU of Georgia. Georgians deserve to have their most private information protected. For the past two years, the ACLU of Georgia has been working with legislators to inform state leaders about the dangers of unrestrained collection, sale, use, and distribution of our biometric information. This is information like our fingerprints, our iris patterns, our facial geometry, and our voice patterns. It's the other things and other physical characteristics that make us us. I've personally become interested in biometric protections because when I was looking for a place for me and my family to live, I had to provide my facial geometry, my iris pattern, and my fingerprints at various property management places. And I have no idea how my information is going to be used in the future, who it's going to be sold to, or uh, and what and how long it's going to be kept by these companies. That's why Georgia deserves a meaningful consumer protection bill. The use of biometric information will only continue to become a larger part of our society. Unfortunately, like a password, a social security number, or, uh, or our name, we can't change our biometric uh, uh, information. For this reason, we believe George is at a threshold moment where it's now or never for meaningful privacy protections to be in place. And, and Senate Bill 473 does not go far enough to give in Georgia the protections that it needs. Since 2008, the ACLU, of, uh, the ACLU and the ACLU of Georgia have been fighting for this kind of consumer protection. 
in a meaningful biometric bill. Bills that would prohibit the collection of data without your express consent. That would ban the sale and distribution of your information. To delete your information after a year uh, or at your request. And find out what companies have your biometric information and provide a private cause of action so Georgians can actually assert their rights. Since that time, Many states across the nation have passed consumer protection bills for various degrees of protection. And they're basically in two camps. There's states that care about their citizens, and there's states that care about big tech. And unfortunately, we believe that SB 473 will place Georgia on a path to only protecting the big data and big tech companies and leaving Georgians without the protections that they need. And that's why a meaningful protection bill is necessary in this state. I'm not going to go into the nuances of why SB 473 fails to adequately protect Georgians because I believe there's others better suited that are going to be speaking after me. But for those of you who are concerned about the collection of your data, just understand that this bill only applies to a, you know, the biggest of tech companies. All the small companies that collect your data will be completely unregulated by this bill, as would your employers. We believe that you deserve to know and be able to control the information coming from these entities. And Senate Bill 473 does not go far enough. Unfortunately, we feel this bill creates the bare basement of protections and makes it the grand ceiling of what Georgians can expect to have. We think that this is unacceptable, and we hope our state leaders do not accept such a bill. It will actually replace this language with a bill that puts Georgians first. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Cody Vensky, a senior policy counsel for surveillance, privacy, and technology at the ACLU's national office. I want to thank the ACLU of Georgia for their staunch defense of Georgians' privacy rights. Unfortunately, SB 473 will not provide meaningful protection for Georgians' privacy, but will instead be business as usual for big tech companies and data brokers alike. SB 473 is part of a larger trend to entrench big data's practices that have already been in place and already harm Georgians and Americans every day. As part of that larger trend, SB 473 shares a number of provisions with laws that have already been passed down in other states that have watered down privacy protections in those states. While well, I could point to a number of provisions in SB 473 that have that effect, there are three I want to focus on now. First. The data rights that are at the heart of the bill, while important, put the work of protecting privacy on individuals rather than on the companies that collect, use, abuse, and profit from our data. Instead, individuals are required to chase after big tech and chase after hundreds of data brokers to ask nicely that they delete your data or tell you exactly what they have collected on you and what they are using it for. Second. The opt-out consent provisions at the heart of SB 473 that are also at the heart of many of these other state-level bills mean that big tech companies do not need to even seek your permission for using data in ways that may harm you, such as selling it to others or profile you in ways that may hurt your legal or other rights. And finally, the bill lacks meaningful civil rights protection. We live in an age where data is more than just targeted ads online, but can fuel your opportunities. Data informs whether or not you have access to a mortgage, what schools your children may get into, and other critical areas of your life. We need civil rights protections that recognize the importance of data at the heart of our day-to-day -day lives. Unfortunately, SB 473 does not change this narrative. Instead, as I said, it is business as usual for big tech and for data brokers. There's a real opportunity here for the Georgia legislator to provide meaningful privacy protections and change the direction of the national debate. But unfortunately, SB 473 is a missed opportunity. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Nora Benavidez, and I'm honored to be here with my colleagues from the ACLU of Georgia and the ACLU National. I am Senior Counsel and Director of Digital Justice and Civil Rights at the nonprofit Free Press and Free Press Action, our lobbying arm. I'm here today because privacy feels elusive, um, and it feels sort of like it doesn't affect any of us. And part of what I want to implore and impress upon you is the way it affects all of us. Privacy is fundamentally a civil rights issue. 
efforts to rein in what private companies do with whether they collect, retain, sell, or otherwise analyze our data somehow doesn't feel like it affects us. And yet it is impossible to be a modern citizen of the world and not have some form of a digital footprint. Everything we do, we are giving information, whether it is our location based on our Uber pickup, whether it is the ads targeting us based on behavior and likes or search terms that we've put into Google. All of these are inputs that we have provided the digital world. Private companies then use those to make inferences about who we are. And so it may feel innocuous. It may feel like, eh, I put some information in about boots I want and then I see an ad from Target and I'm really excited to see those boots again. It makes it easier to buy stuff. The, the more dangerous side of this, of course, is that there can often lead to discriminatory outcomes based on the data collected by private companies about each of us. And that is leveraged by the algorithms that undergird these private company systems. Those algorithms, when they produce discriminatory outcomes, can affect all forms and sectors of our lives. In the healthcare realm, an algorithm provided less aggressive and speedy treatment to black patients compared to white patients who have been known to have the same or similar ailments. In the voting realm, we have seen that social media algorithms have placed users into cohorts and black or Latino or Native American users have been explicitly prevented from seeing certain kinds of ads for housing and other opportunities. And in other contexts, there are a myriad examples of the ways that our data is leveraged to curate our experience in ways that prevent us from being in control of those digital realms. Privacy is a civil rights issue. And it's important to get this right if we're going to regulate how private companies use or retain our data. SB 473 is not the right way to rein in or regulate what private companies do with our data. I applaud the effort for lawmakers to think of and champion the spirit of privacy protections. But what we need are real safeguards and rigorous standards for consumers in Georgia. We need, as my colleagues today have reiterated, a private right of action for consumers when they feel and are aware that their data has been used in ways that they did not authorize. We need data minimization standards. That is limits on what private companies can collect, how they then use, store, and sell our data. We need to robustly limit and ban algorithmic discrimination to prevent its more sordid uh, racist, sexist, and other problematic discriminatory outcomes. And so I implore that Georgians here understand the implications. It feels like if you don't see what those rights look like out in the street, you may not know. But these are the future of all of our civil rights online. And so I am eager to get this right. Thank you so much. We just want to thank everyone for coming. We want to remind everyone that Senate Bill 473 will be on the Senate floor today for a vote. Um, we encourage you to contact your senators and tell them to vote no. And also continue to contact your House representatives and let them know that this is coming to their chamber um, and that you support meaningful legislation that will protect our privacy and not just legislation that protects the big tech companies. Um, and with that said, I want to open it up if there are any questions. No. Okay, thank you.